Hello everyone, my name is Babalulu. That froggy is having me talk for the tutorial you are about to see. This is the video some of you have been waiting for. Here is the tutorial on how to mod Disney Infinity 3.0 on the Wii U. Before I get started, let me go over some information. This video will only show you how to add the mod. Getting the game, software, and other stuff you will need will be up to you to get. A question you may be asking, what took so long? Well, it took a while to figure it out and get the right tools and add in what I need to get it all to work. Also I've been busy enough where I couldn't make any sort of tutorial. This mod replaces the normal versions of Hulk, Hulkbuster, Darth Vader, Elsa, Buzz, and Jack Skellington with their premium version. Crystal Buzz is glow in the dark Buzz, and Peter Pan is playable. If you don't have a Peter Pan figure, I made it so the Yondu figure will let you play as Peter Pan. I might make a version 2 of the mod that will include Doctor Strange and Spider Gwen. The thing is, they are barely functional in the game. So for right now, the characters I listed are what I am including in the mod. Also I need to mention, this video will focus on the Wii U. Other consoles that this is possible on, I don't have access to. But now, it's time. Let's get started. You will need either a ROM of Disney Infinity 3.0 or the actual game for Wii U, they will both work. If you have the actual game, you will need to dump it, I'll explain later. I can't say where to get a ROM, so you are on your own for trying to get one. But I will tell you that make sure the ROM is extracted. Just be careful because some websites and apps are sketchy. If you own the game, there are tools to dump the contents of the game. I will get to that later. You will need to homebrew your Wii U. There are plenty of tutorials you can find that will show you how to do that. I'll link the homebrew website in the description. Once you homebrew it you want to install Lodi in GX2. I will link a video on how to do that in the description. This step is optional. But if you are afraid your Wii U will get bricked, then it will be a good idea to back up your NAND. If you own the game and would rather dump the ROM instead of finding one online, you will need Dumpling. Dumpling dumps the contents of a Wii U disc so you can play it on a computer with CEMU. Also it is the same format that Lodi in GX2 uses. With your SD card, Hook it up to your computer and make sure you follow the last couple of steps correctly. Lodi in games need to be in a folder called games that needs to be in the Wii U folder in the root of the SD card. Make sure Disney Infinity's folder is named like this. If it isn't, then you need to rename it so it looks like what I have on my screen. Make sure the update files are also in the games directory. Join my Discord server, link in the description, and under Disney Infinity modding, in the files chat, Download the file named F365AEE3. In Disney Infinity's folder, navigate through content slash update slash assets and then you should see a file named F365AEE3. Rename it or remove it from the folder and replace it with the file you downloaded from my Discord server. Eject the SD card, put it in your Wii U. Load up Homebrew, load Lodiin, launch the game. Create or load a toy box. And place one of the characters on the base. 
If you did everything correctly, the new character should look. Thank you, Babalulu. Wow, isn't he great? He just explained all of that in like five minutes. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more Disney Infinity stuff, let me know. Like, subscribe, because your support would mean a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day, and have fun playing as all these new characters in Disney Infinity 3.0 on Wii U. Bye!